Welcome back to part 20 of my PM Research number 5 Coke Bottle Steam Engine Build Diary. Uh, this episode is making a lot of little things for the end of the project. Not going to be much narration. Uh, the first parts to make are there's a hinge part that connects the eccentric mechanism. Turns it from a wobbling to a up and down wobbling. And there's two parts to this. Uh, both made out of brass. This part has uh, two flats and a hole. And it goes on the end of one of the rods. So this is one of the joys of this machine without the movable head on the on the machine is in this case when I first put the centre drill in it didn't quite reach the part and I have the choice of putting in a 4 inch extension which would be too long or futzing about like this. Here I'm, I'm letting the drill show me how far it can get and then I'm pulling back a little bit and then clamping it down so I know I can just get that little centre tab. The drill itself is longer so it doesn't have that problem. And this is before I did the recent renewal of all my drills in my drill index. I filled in all the gaps and bought new ones, bought all new wire gauge drills. So that was an old Harbor Freight questionable drill. This reaming operation actually came out conical. If anyone knows why, I'd be grateful because it's a fairly straightforward eighth inch uh, reaming. But uh, I was able to straighten it out and then the mating part I machined to size. And here we're doing the machining here just with the parting tool because there's a very few features on this. There's a bit of a neck and then the outside gets turned down. And we have an oil hole on the end and then it will be uh, threaded on the other end. part one of many. That still needs to be threaded. I don't think I did that yet. Now we make the mating part. Which is a simple cylinder with a threaded hole at one end and a particular diameter on the other end to fit the part we made uh, last.
part two. So that one is not a thread at all. My error. And here there's a little washer that goes on the end of that assembly. See how losable these little parts are. I didn't film me scrabbling about in the chip tray to find these things. And we have some shafting to do. So there's two different diameters of shafting and two different uh, threads that need to go on these. And it turns out I didn't have a 348 die. So that was done off camera later. Uh, this shaft has uh, one thread on one end and one on the other, and this is the main piston rod. number five thread on this end, which is the end which goes into the crosshead, I think. I think this is the end that goes in the crosshead. Oh, food time. Okay, hex stock. We're gonna make some nuts. So there are four nuts with one thread, a 348 thread, and another nut with a five thread. Uh, but they're the outside diameter, outside dimensions is the same, so it all comes off the same bar stock. So this is just a case of drilling, tapping, a little bit of filing, and then parting, and we get nuts. Hex stock is a wonderful thing. Notice I did throw away a chunk there because my center drill had actually drifted off center. I uh, have not yet renewed my center drills from the previous video, so I don't have any tiny ones left. So my center holes are uh, yeah, a bit sketchy uh, during this operation, but I got through it. little nuts added to the pile. I only see four there. I must have lost one. I found it later. Um, so testing the bar stock against the previously cut grooves in the valve, it's the grooves aren't big enough so I'm widening these slightly to match the stock. I don't know if I measured wrong or if the stock is slightly larger than expected but uh, not a big deal. That's now going to fit the nut, which I'm going to cut next. And here I face the end and then go in and mark the length with the mill, and it will be cut off uh, by hand in the, with a hacksaw separately. This is just making a mark for the end of the part for the hacksaw later. And we drill and tap for 348. Again, this is much too big a center drill for this operation, but it's the only one I have at this point. This is another 348 drill and tap. Thank you. 
and this part was uh, a hole that I forgot to do from the last video in the end of this part. Just another uh, 348 drill and tap. Yeah, so not a lot of interesting stuff, just a lot of little tiny stuff, and we're ready for assembly. See you next time.